guys, I just spent a mm, half an hour, we'll call it, just because I'm embarrassed to tell you how long I really spent on it, trying to figure out how to live stream on YouTube. Because the only way that my channel could get more dumb than it already is, is watching you guys, or having you guys watch me unbox snacks live. That sounds fun. But honest to goodness, if that sounds fun to you, tell me and I will figure it out because I don't edit my videos very much. I don't, I don't mean to shock you, but uh, these, these works of perfection are not heavily edited. Um, so why not just do it live and be able to interact with some of you guys? Um, I think it sounds like a good idea. So I will try to figure it out or I will pay for the more expensive streaming thing uh, instead of just trying to use the free one. We'll see. We will see. Anyway, speaking of unboxing snacks, I've been gone for a long time. I am so sorry. I guess I just haven't been like hungry enough to be motivated to come unbox my Degusta box. So it's been sitting on my kitchen floor for like 21 days, which would lead you to believe that I am a pig, but my house is very clean. Someone who knows me vouch for me. My house is very clean. Anyway, uh, Degusta box is a monthly food subscription. It is $19.95 a month. It's a combination of pantry and snack items that come in a fun box. Looks like this every month. Um, and you can get the first month for $9.95 if you want to try it, I believe. Um, so there is a card that comes in it every month. I don't like to know what's in the box, as you guys know. This month it looks like there's a design your own flyer contest on the back. Um, in the space below, draw what you would like to see as a flyer background in one of the upcoming boxes. Oh, okay, so um, these little designs, they're giving their customers the opportunity to design the next card. I won't be joining because my drawings are shit, but I'm comfortable with it because I have a lot of other gifts. Put it down. Okay, anyway, let's get into it. Lots of bubble wrap this time. Maybe there's breakable stuff in here. There's a coupon for Walker's shortbread cookies. Um, every time I have these gifted to me at the holidays, I always claim that I don't like them and then I eat the whole box. So I guess I do like them. So maybe they're in here and maybe I can tell you guys that I don't like them and then eat them all. It'll be great. Anyway. Uh, uh, ugh. This is the first time that I've ever, bless you, my dog just sneezed. This is the first time I've ever made that noise about anything in these boxes. I'm tired of receiving these. They're not Cheetos. These are not Cheetos. Do you hear me, hippies? Your vegan pea snacks are not comparable to Cheetos. But there are plenty of people out there who love these. Um, and thanks for giving the world a vegan alternative and making vegans feel like they eat Cheetos, even though they don't. On to the next. So this is uh, Goya, Goya, their favorite brand at Degusta Box. This smells not like tortillas. It smells like something else very familiar, but uh, soft taco tortillas. I um, can always use tortillas in my house. Maybe I'll use them with dinner tonight. So thank you, that's a good pantry staple. I say thank you, like I didn't pay for this box. Thanks, Degusta Box, for being so thoughtful. Um, what else? Jerky, there's turkey jerky. It's available at Starbucks. That is their claim to fame, available at Starbucks. Uh, this is Country Archer Turkey Jerky. It's in the flavor hickory smoke. I love me some jerky. I never buy it because it's too expensive and I'm unsatisfied with how much jerky there is for how much you pay for it. So I always, always welcome it as a treat in a box. I'm very excited about this. What else is this? Is this chicken broth? Is it? Yes. Chicken broth? It's made of free range chicken and the freshest vegetables. Annetto, 100% natural, great kitchen staple. I actually go through chicken broth like it's water. I actually just had a friend make fun of me the other day for how much I keep in my house, but I use it. I'm a crock pot Um, And the packaging is pretty cute on this. It looks like a picnic tablecloth, which I'm sure is what everyone loves about Annetto chicken broth. Anyway, what else? What else, what else? Is. Oh, I love these. These are uh, lovely caramels. I've had many of their flavors before just from other boxes. Um, these are pumpkin spice. I don't typically love pumpkin spice stuff. Um, I love pumpkin bread, but pumpkin spice coffee and cocoa and stuff like that I don't love. 
Um, but in candy, it's usually pretty good. So those will be great for when I get a sweet tooth. Um, what is this? This is Eat on Meat. You, what? Oh, it's barbecue sauce. It's a touch of heat barbecue sauce. Um, I was real confused for a second there, guys. I don't know why it took me so long to figure that out, but this looks like a sample size of a spicy barbecue sauce. So I always, I actually use stuff like that. It's easy to just throw little sample packets like that in your cupboard and never think about them again, but I always think about them because I don't like clutter, so I use stuff. I'm yelling at you guys a lot tonight. I have had a lot of caffeine, uh, which brings me to my next item. Uh, oh, hold on. Hold on, Luigi has something in his mouth. Hey, this is, if it were live, uh, I'm not gonna cut it out, so it doesn't matter if it's live. Give me that, give me this. This is what he had, this is not for dogs. Anyway, um, next in here, speaking of how I've had a lot of caffeine today, get down. Uh, disciplining my dog is what you guys signed up to watch. This is a Cafe Bustello Instant Cafe Con Leche. So these are instant coffee packets. Um, I have had the Starbucks version of these and I was not blown away by them, um, but I will absolutely try these. I know that this is a really good brand of coffee and I am a, I like just put the IV in me in the morning. Um, I have coffee pulsing through my veins. Um, so those will be greatly appreciated. Ooh, I went to Europe earlier this year and I know that these are available in the US, but I have never felt festive enough in the U.S. to buy these, um, but I did while I was in um, the airport in Paris, um, and it was really, really good. It's an Oreo chocolate candy bar. It's a chocolate bar with like a cookies and cream filling, so that'll be great for a craving. Um, let's get honest. It probably won't stick around long enough for me to crave it. I'll probably just eat it now. This is, um, it is a dry rub for poultry, fish, or pork, to add pizzazz to your favorite recipes. I love how old school this box looks. I feel like everything in this box looks super, not everything, but a lot of things like these two things and this thing, which this one was part of the other two things. It's not, anyway, everything looks really classic in here. That's kind of fun. I love me a spice. I found the Scotty Dog cookies that I'm gonna complain about how I don't really love, and then I'm just gonna put peanut butter on them and make them twice the amount of calories and love them. I'm gonna love these. They're shaped like little dogs. Dogs that are not eating the packaging of my box. Couple more things in here. Oh, you guys know I love when stuff comes in bubble wrap. That means that it's gonna be something, oh. I think I'm, no, I have not gotten this before. This is Goya again. It is Pico de Gallo. I'm not the biggest Pico de Gallo fan, but I will pass this along to my mother. She'll take it gladly, I'm sure. Um, anything that's, tomato-y, I just pass right along to her and she makes good use out of it. So here it comes, here it comes, your salsa. There's one more thing in here. And, oh, it's a mini panettone. We just had one of these at Thanksgiving. I don't even think we opened it because there was so much pie. Um, but these are, it's like a mini fruitcake, which like, fruitcake is the running joke around the holidays who actually eats it, um, but it's real cute. It comes in a real cute little box. And again, I sometimes when I'm hungry, I don't really care what I'm stuffing in my face. So this will either be a cute gift topper, maybe a white elephant because no one wants this, um, or I will eat it in a moment of desperation. I love you guys so much. I'm so sorry I've been gone for a while. I have a lot of stuff coming up next month. I was able to find many companies who were happy to partner with me next month. So I will be seeing you guys a lot more than I did in November. Love you. Bye.